वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू माई चैनल बायोलॉजी विद डॉक्टर इशर रानी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्लिटोरिया टर्निटी इट बिलोंग्स टू फैमिली फेबेसी कॉमन नेम इज बटरफ्लाई पी और पिजन विंग पी क्लाटोरिया टर्निटी कॉमनली नोन एज एशियन पिजन विंग ब्लू बेलवाइन ब्लू पी बटरफ्लाई पी डारन पी और यू कैन ऑल्सो से दैट बट ब्लू टर्निटी इट इज़ अ पेरिडल हर्बेशियस प्लांट इट ग्रो एज वाइन और क्रीपर doing more neutral soil its most striking feature is its color of its flower is a vivid deep blue solitary and light yellow marking the vegetative characters it is twining climber and root is taproot and branch root with nodules stem is aerial weak and twinner leaves are imperipinately compound and alternate leaves showing reticulate venation as well so floral characters we will discuss the floral characters characters as you know that influences is it is solitary and axillary cymose flower is bracteate zygomorphic large pedicellate calyx 5 sepals gamosepals green in color corolla having five petals the larger one is known as vexillum the two anterior one are known as the wing two which were known as the boat shape or kilocarinae there are 10 stamens as you know that 10 stamens 9 plus 1 arrangement is there 9 are in fused form and one is a free gynecium is monocarpellary fruit is legume because it is a leguminous plant and marginal placentation is there now we will learn different parts of the flower today we are going to discuss the flower of clitoria terniti this belongs to family fabaceae and this is the flower of clitoria it is also known as butterfly pea or you can say that pigeon wing pea so this is solitary flower and it is cymose type and we will discuss this the parts of the flower the flower having the stalk or the prominent pedicel is there then there is the two bracts are there the upper bract and the lower bract we will see that these are the this is the bracteate flower and now we will discuss all the parts we will dissect the flower and we will see the bud firstly you can see that here are the first rail which is sepals and these sepals are fused with the petals and also they are five in numbers 1 2 3 4 and 5 petals five sepals are there so we will remove the sepals and then we will see the petals as well you can remove the sepals like this after sepals we will see that the large size is that this is a large size standard or vexillum petal is there this is known as extender or vexillum we will remove this petal it is larger in size like this we remove then we will see here are the two petals which are wing shape they are known as a wing petals we will remove these wing petals and then we will see here are the two are uh, boat shape petals are there they are fused as well these are the boat shape petals we will remove th these boat shape petals as well the here first one and the second one is there you can remove like this here we will set these petals these are five in numbers now we will come to the next part which is androecium you can see that the androecium is dioecious because here are nine stamens are fused and one stamen is are free here is the single one stamen and these nine stamens are fused we will also remove the inner part which is the carpel only single carpel and it is feathery carpel is there we will remove this carpel as well these are the bracts the two bracts are there in butterfly pea then we will observe the first rail which is calyx group of sepals 
you will count 1 2 3 4 and 5 the five sepals are there and they are gamosepals because they are fused sepals and the collection of sepals is called calyx after that we will observe the corolla the petals you can see that this is the largest one and it is known as standard or vexillum then we have two petals these are the wings because these two are wing shape and then we have two these are the board shape and total we have five petals are there this flower is zygomorphic because from this axis we will cut it into two equal half after that we will observe now we will observe the stamens here nine plus one arrangement these are diadelphus because one stamen is free and nine these are fused stamen so this type of arrangement is known as diadelphus and nine plus one arrangement these are the nine in number you can count these are nine stamens are there now the last one which is we have carpel this is monocarpillary or single carpel is there this carpel is feathery or having feather like arrangement stigma style and here is ovary and ovary uh, is having marginal presentation when we ts that, that ovary you can see that this is the marginal presentation and this is monocarpillary so again we will overview this flower having five sepals these are green in color and flower is bluish or blue in color and having white flower as well so when we cut flower from this section we will have equal halves and this is the zygomorphic flower and so this is the first trial which is sepal they are gamosepals five few sepal is theirs and these are the petals first one petals is standard or vexillum it is larger in size then we have two petals which are known as wing because they are in the wing shape and then we have two petals which are keel or carina these are the board shape cat petals are there then we have nine plus one arrangement of stamens nine stamens are uh, in one direction or they are jointed they are fused and one is free and this type of element is known as diadelphus we have single carpel this is monocarpillary and you can see that ovary is hypogynous and this is ovary hypogynous and superior ovary is there when we will cut we will see that the flower having carpal present inside and the petals and sepals are present below the gynecium or this is hypogynous type of flower so it is the clatoria ternity butterfly P belongs to family Fabaceae, and now we will discuss the floor formula of Clitoria. It is zygomorphic. You have seen that we will cut this from the middle axis into two equal halves. This is zygomorphic flower, and you have observed that both the sexes, androsium and gynosium, or stamens and carpel, are there. So this is bisexual. Then we will observe the sepals, the sepal or the calyx group of sepal. Thus, all the sepals were fused. This is gamosepals. We will use this symbol for the gamosepals, five sepals, but they are fused. Now, you have observed the petals as well. The corolla, one petal was large in size. It was vexillum or standard, then two were wings and two they were the boat, boat or we have one plus two and two. These two were fused. So, standard, vexillum, wing and keel or carina or boat shape then we have uh, androsium or stamens were there and they were diadelphus nine stamens were in, were in uh, the same direction or they were fused and one was free and they, that's why we will use nine in bracket plus one then we have single carpel or monocarpillary uh, ovary was there then that was the uh, superior ovary as you have observed that the flower was hypogynous type and hypogynous ovary is superior so this is the floral formula of clitoria ternity or butterfly pea or also known as pigeon wing pea floral diagram of 
Clitoria ternity or butterfly pea. You can observe that. Here are the two bracts are there. This is the bracteole is there. And then we have five sepals. These sepals were fused. Then we will use this symbol. One, two, three, four, and five. These sepals are fused. It is gamosepalous. Then we have petals. You have observed that one petals were larger in size. Two petals were equal in size. And two petals, lower petals were fused. So this is the standard or vexillum. This is the, these are the wings and this is the board shape or keel or carina. Then we have observed the androsium. Then we have observed that nine androsium were in one direction or they were fused and one stamen was, was, was free. So we will use that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine stamens fused and one is separate out. So we will use the symbol nine plus one. And here is a one carpal, single carpal is there. This is monocarpillary. So this is the floral diagram of Clitoria ternity or butterfly pea. As a review of floral characters, you can see that the sepals, petals, androsium and gynesium is there. And along with the floral formula and floral diagram, it is for your practice that you have to learn all the parts uh, briefly. Now we will discuss the significance of Clitoria ternity. It is widely known species and uh, it is used as herbal medicine also used as a food material in Ayurvedic medicine its root is used traditionally it is uh, used in uh, various qualities including memory enhancing anti-stress anti-xylotic antidepressant anti-convulsant tranquilizing and sedative properties are present in clitoria ternity thank you so much for more videos like share and subscribe my youtube channel